Hello everyone and welcome to our service today. We're so glad that you've joined us. As usual, we are out on our daily walk, really enjoying God's beautiful creation. And today, just to keep you up to speed if you're tuning in for the first time, we're continuing our series on nine amazing gifts that we can get from God through his power. And today, we're gonna to be talking about faithfulness. My name's Esther. And my husband John is around here somewhere. Here he is. No, John, only Hulk. That's quite a transformation. But why are you wearing an eye mask? Because we are talking about a superhero today. Okay, um, this is awkward, but this is the wrong superhero, John. I'm sorry. But we, but we are talking about a very specific superhero today who we feel kind of embodies the qualities of faithfulness and contrary to popular belief i know exactly what i'm doing okay even more awkward because it's not iron man oh i'm sorry john third time lucky third time lucky try again but there is this particular hero that is absolutely incredible and we think you might recognize him and it is i can do this all day captain america this isn't really Captain America. No, sadly. Sadly. But why are we talking about Captain America today? Because uh, in the films, he is really loyal and faithful. And we thought it'd be a really good analogy to how God is loyal and faithful to us as well. Um, so we're going to find out a little bit more about that later on, aren't we? We are. But before we do that, we're going to have a couple of songs by Hillsong Church. And these are God is Able and You Never Fail. Brilliant. So we hope you enjoy the songs. Um, you can sing along, the words will be on the screen, or you can simply let the words and music wash over you. So enjoy them, and we'll see you shortly. Bye.
I hope you enjoyed those two songs everyone um, it's really good to be reminded that despite our situation God is able to work miracles in our lives we're now going to have some Bible readings and if you want to look these up on the internet or in your Bible the references for each verse will be written just above the text so let's listen to God's Word together let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess for he who promised is faithful. God is faithful, who has called you into fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. But the Lord is faithful, and he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. Now faith is confidence in what we hope for, and assurance about what we do not see. So we love superheroes. Apart from me, who's your favourite superhero? Well, you are the most heroic of them all, of course. Um, but, you know, after you, I would say maybe Thor and Black Widow. Mm, I'm not convinced. Oh, I'm sorry. Have you got some better? Well, Iron Man, perhaps. Mm. Maybe a bit of Star-Lord from Guardians of, Ga of the Galaxy. Oh, uh, maybe. But it is mainly about the music, let's face it, for Guardians of, of the Galaxy. But, uh, but yeah, superheroes are, are obviously not everyone's cup of tea. But we can all learn something from the story of Captain America. 
Here he is. Um, and how his love for his best friend can remind us of the love that Jesus has for us. Mm. So before he became Captain America, mm. Steve Rogers and his best friend from school, um, Bucky Barnes, um, are totally inseparable as children and young men. Steve's a bit of a skinny lad, um, and he's also really quite a stubborn one as well. Um, and he gets into quite a few fights. Um, then sadly his mum dies, um, and his despair and pain and stubborn insistence that he can get by on his own, Bucky says, I'm with you till the end of the line. Mm -hmm. And that's a really important line that, um, I'm with you till the end of the line. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Um, but then World War Two comes, and after a few obstacles, they, Steve and Bucky, both managed to join the army. And during a training exercise, a uh, grenade, a fake grenade, is thrown into the middle of his group of soldiers. And everyone does the sensible thing. They run away, that's what you do. But Steve does the most opposite, most stupid thing you can imagine, and he throws himself over the grenade, shielding everyone else. And this does not go unnoticed. So Steve gets signed up to the super secret experimental tech program called the super soldier program. He gets his body pumped full of steroids and he becomes, well, he becomes Captain America, doesn't he? And there he is right there. He becomes Captain America. But because of his ultimate love for other people and because of the knowledge after that grenade incident that he wouldn't let power corrupt him, that's why he's chosen for the programme. He's passed the ultimate test. But disaster strikes um, and Bucky's unit is captured by the Nazis. Um, and then Bucky himself is experimented on by the bad guys. Um, with his new super soldier powers, um, Steve breaks into the, the, um, the prison base where Bucky's been held and rescues him and the rest of his men. Side by side, the two buddies continue fighting the war. Until one day, um, the uh, Bucky falls from a moving train that's moving through the mountains and no person could possibly ever survive that kind of fall. But Steve ends up sacrificing himself, crashing his plane into the icy Arctic Sea during his final mission. Mm -hmm. um, he lay there in a coma for nearly 70 years, eventually waking up in a new world of Facebook and iPads. <laughs> um, and um, he becomes part of the Avengers, the superheroes who end up saving the world. And then Bucky comes back. Mm. See, Bucky may have fallen off a mountainside, but because of the experiments that the Nazis had performed on him, he, too, he was too powerful to be killed. Um, so he now exists as a kind of zombie assassin, um, and his mind is controlled by the bad guys, frozen in between kills. Um, to stop him thinking for himself or escaping. So I wonder how often we let negative thoughts um, control our minds and our actions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then Steve comes across Bucky again. Bucky is sent to kill the Avengers who Steve is fighting with. And they look at each other, they meet each other's eyes. And Steve is just heartbroken when there's nothing there from Bucky, no recognition of the friends that they once were. His mind is so twisted that he can't recognise the one good thing that's come back into his life. And just as Bucky didn't recognise Steve, I sometimes wonder if, if we don't recognise God when he tries to come into our life, when he tries to break through into our darkness, Sometimes we feel far from him. And in that Bible verse that we had just before, it said faith is confidence in what we hope for and what we don't see. And sometimes I wonder, do we also have to have faith that God is with us even when we don't recognise him? In the final battle scene, Steve and Bucky face each other. And Steve stretches out his arms and he drops the famous Captain America shield. And even 
as Bucky continues to punch him repeatedly and attack him and try to end his life. Steve takes it and says, I'm not going to fight you. You're my friend. And I'm with you until the end of the line. In the reading from Thessalonians that we just had, it says the Lord is faithful and he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. And this story does have a happy ending, doesn't it? Because it does. Steve eventually managed to, manages to free Bucky's mind from those evil clutches. And you know, even when we don't believe in him or when we run from him, or even when we attack God, he faithfully continues to believe in us. And he is with us. He is with you until the very end of the line. So a few weeks ago, we had our friend Ben Lyons do a talk for us on peace. And we're really glad to welcome him back now to do some prayers for us. So thank you, Ben. Let's pray together. So as we come to prayer, we do so before our Lord who is faithful to us. As we look at that image of the cross, we see God's faithfulness through the acts of Jesus. Know therefore that the Lord your God is God. He is the faithful God, keeping his covenant of love to a thousand generations. Lord, we thank you that you are faithful to us now and forever. You always have been and always will be. Help us as we come to you in prayer to trust you completely with everything that we do. So as we come before you in prayer, as we see the predictability of the tide, as we see the beauty of your creation. Lord, we thank you that when we come before you and confess our sins to you, Lord, you promise you are faithful and just and will forgive us our sins. So in a moment of quiet, Lord, we bring before you all of those things that we regret and wish we hadn't said and done and seek your forgiveness for them. And as we look at this image of the reeds blowing in the wind, so simple and yet so amazing. We recognise, Lord, the beauty of your creation, how you are faithful in sustaining the world that you have made. Lord, as we look to them, we see reason not to worry about our own needs. And we pray, Lord Jesus, at this difficult time that you would reassure us, Lord, that you are for us, not against us. And Lord, that you provide for us and dwell with us in the everyday. And so as we take a bigger picture look here, Lord, we thank you for those beautiful words of the psalmist, Lord, that we can be still and know that you are God. Lord, that you will be exalted over the nations and the earth. Lord, give us peace in this time, we pray. Lord, we pray your stillness and peace on all those who are anxious, on all those who are sick, on all those, Lord Jesus, whom are working hard to save others. May they know you are faithful to them during this time. So as we come back to this image of the cross and also the glory of the empty tomb, we conclude our prayers knowing that every promise, Lord, that you have made is yes and amen in Jesus Christ. Lord, help us to look to the cross of Christ and the empty tomb and know that we will be okay. Lord, that you love us more than we could ever know and that you are a faithful God who will sustain us through all the ages. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us for worship this week. Um, even though we've not been with you, we've really been worshipping with you in spirit. We hope it's been really life-giving and helpful for you. And as you go about your life this week, may you experience God's faithfulness to you and be inspired by the things and people around you. So stay safe and have a fantastic week. Bye. Bye. See you later. God is
sebe 